Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Brenna. I am Brenna M. Co., where we spread mental health awareness and positivity through products. As you guys saw from the title of the video, it is craft fair time. It's finally craft fair season, and I'm so excited to get back in the groove. I know you guys have been missing the craft fair vlogs as well. So today is Thursday. We are setting up our booth today. We have pretty much all day to set it up, so that's super nice. And then it starts tomorrow, Friday through Sunday. And I'm excited. I've never done this one before, but I have a feeling that it's going to go really well. My booth fee was $600, so it's a little steep, but also it's three days, so it's actually not that bad. It's also currently blizzarding outside, so we will see how loading and unloading goes. But yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We got to pack everything up and put it in my car and drive on over there. So let's get to it. Okay, so I don't plan on bringing everything, but I do know I want to bring like the embroidered uh, tees and probably all of my sweaters and my joggers. So those are the first things that we're going to pack right now. It is so cold, like so cold. Went inside and got hat and mittens. Now let's finish loading up the first load. First load done. Now let's go drop it off and then get some more loads. Load two, it's just the big bins of clothing and then we have to come back and get load three which is just my stand. These are the times I wish that my car had a hitch and that I had a trailer so I could just like put everything in the trailer and bring it but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, and that's okay. I'm literally so cold right now, like I cannot feel my fingers. I forgot my gloves in my car, and I didn't even think to just run out, grab them, and then do everything. Um, and I also broke the handle on one of my bins. So, that's fun. Gonna have to buy a new bin, probably. But let's go, let's go get this load unloaded, and then come back get the third one and then I'll show you guys the booth space and we'll get to setting up. Last load is in and I forgot some stuff that I needed to bring aka my stickers and the new tumbler cups so I got those as well as my chairs and yeah now here's to the last trip hopefully I don't forget anything else and if I do I'll just have to bring it tomorrow. The most beautiful thing about very cold winter days in Minnesota are the sun dogs. All right, so everything is unloaded, and I'm gonna show you the booth space empty, empty, slash not set up. Here's the booth space. Now, I didn't know we were having these, and I didn't know where I was, so I did bring my tents, but I ended up bringing them back home, and I think we're gonna make this work pretty good. They have this like red carpet, it's kinda cool. But yeah, this is what the booth space looks like. For now. So I'm gonna put on my headphones and I'm gonna start grinding this out and get as much as I can set up. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo. 
stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back a couple dials We should throw them out Because time ain't as well But you fill me up And I can feel she said life is just a symbol for the pain that you can get through like a camel through the needle everyday people are just a I have no idea how I'm gonna set this up because it's so like different and so I'm kind of hoping Cassie can get here soon because she's done with work and I just need help knowing what to do. Also sorry you guys were crooked but you're literally propped up on a car that's in front of my stand like a brand new car so um, just bear with me on this. I just finished setting up and I'll show you guys it. It's just kind of weird because it's not as out as I'm used to. So it's just a lot going on. I have my stand over there and then you have Anxious the Be Kind. And then these are the stickers and the car air fresheners, the pop socket. Then we have the crew necks, zip ups, t-shirts, and then the cups, towel scrunchies, beanies and baseball caps and then over here is just a full thing of joggers this is what it looks like from far away i wish i could do something better with that sign but honestly i'm just not in the mood to really hassle with it right now so i think that's a tomorrow thing now i'm gonna go home i'm gonna eat and i'll see you guys tomorrow for day one Good morning, you beautiful people. Today is day one and I'm super excited, but also anxious. So this morning, we're just gonna make my coffee and then I'm gonna gather up all of the miscellaneous stuff that I need because I didn't pack my business cards, thank you cards, that stuff, because I knew I could just do it this morning. And then I do need to run to the bank and get some cash. After we run to the bank, we're actually meeting Sarah for lunch. Sarah from SP Handmade is also doing this craft fair, so we're gonna get some lunch beforehand. And then we're gonna get to the craft fair about an hour early, just in case if I need to do some stuff. I was gonna tag the Anxious Crew Next Brown and this coral, as well as the Be Kind hoodies, I just decided I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm not gonna do that this time around. So hopefully I sell a lot of them so I don't have to do it at my next craft fair. So let's go and get some work done for this craft fair. Sarah's here, we had lunch earlier. I didn't film anything because we're just catching up, you know, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
We'll just see how this goes. We start in about 45 minutes, but we've literally just been chilling here for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Hanging out, waiting for it to start. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated on stuff that goes on. I just did some final touches and we're a half an hour out and I'm so excited. We also get these super cute like name badges. I'm excited. I get excited about like the most random things, but I'm excited. And I feel like it's gonna be a really good turnout. So I guess we'll see though. The show is just starting. So while I wait, I'm gonna finish tagging all of the car air fresheners. I brought everything. So I'm just gonna do this while my downtime because they need to get done and I just keep putting them off. Also, Cassie is on her way and I'm so excited to see her. She normally helps me like set up and of course is normally here like before the show starts but she's a working mom so I'm just glad that she's still coming. Look who showed up and joined me. Not a lot going on Finally. but it's okay. She's but yeah, good. she just got here and yeah, we're only like an hour in so. I haven't given you guys a fit check so here it is. Comfy and cozy. It's been two hours. We haven't gotten a sale yet, but a lot of traffic, which is good. Okay, so it's been about two hours. We made our first sale, and so far it's not too bad. It's kind of slow, but it's also like a Friday, like right after work kind of time, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just been slow, but I think it's gonna pick up sooner or later, and we're still gonna have a good time, good day. Also, if you hear screaming in the background, it's because I have my nieces here. So, don't mind that. I'm literally so bored. And it's 6.40. We go till nine. It's seven o'clock, we have two hours left. And we still have not made any other sales besides the one. I'm just really hoping that tomorrow and Sunday go super well because today has not been the best. But we stay positive. We made our first sale and that's better than nothing. We just made it two more sales so we're three sales for the day so far but still haven't made our booth money back but we're on the track too kind of not really i feel so weird not having my tents because i feel like so out there and not so enclosed especially like filming and so it's so awkward but i want to get those like mics that hook up to my camera and then like can hook up here but i'm hoping to get those when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. But yeah, I just feel, I just feel very vulnerable right now. I would just like to say this and put it out there that um, after doing how many, I don't know, shows, I finally remembered to bring snacks. And a cooler. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding guys. I brought two sandwiches, granola bars, and some grapes. Finally remembered snacks. Because the found you. We're currently watching hockey. I found a cotton candy guy to do our wedding. At least there was a bright side to this day. Let me know if you think it's stupid or a good idea. I'll take it all, be honest. I'm excited for it. She doesn't watch these videos. Yes, She's I do. not gonna see them. I do too. You're such a liar. I watch I watch them. I bet they missed us together. As of right now, we've had five orders today and we made 217. So not exactly the booth money, but... It's been a really slow day. It's it's good for how slow it's been. We're slowly making our way up there. Tomorrow will be better. I just have a feeling. We only have like a half an hour left and it's, it's, a, it's a desert right now, so... I'll probably just see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Let's just say I am really tired this morning. So I am currently at Starbucks. We're gonna get some coffee and some, of course, little snackies. And then we're gonna head to the gas station and get some more snacky stuff. And then we're gonna head to the craft fair. It's currently 8.15. I am actually doing pretty good on time today. I don't have to be there till like 8 45 ish because it doesn't start till 9 and I don't really have anything to do and I don't just want to sit there and do nothing. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna get some coffee 
wake myself up and get some snacky stuff. Okay, so we just got here to the venue. I got here like 20 minutes before start time. So now we have about 15 minutes before start time. But I wanted to show you guys the fit for today because we always show the fit. And I think you guys are gonna be a little bit surprised by this, but not really. You guys thought I was gonna wear my jeans. Those are for tomorrow. They're my lucky jeans. So we're gonna wait for those for the last day. But we are comfy but also looking cute and it's cold outside so that's why I wore my boots. All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later when maybe some action goes on or not. Look who decided to show up. Not even an hour late. Almost, almost. We just made our first sale of the day and it is 10.30 so hour and a half later, but it was worth it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's more to come. Here's Sarah again. How's your boot doing? Okay. Yeah. Yesterday was better than this point today, but still early. And at least you already made your booth my back too. Yeah, that I'm shocked. I still have yet to do that, but that's okay. It's 11.50 and we officially made our booth money back. We're a little bit over the booth money, which is so exciting. Also, I got to meet one of you today. I didn't get your name and I'm so sorry, I wish I did, but thank you so much for following me and thank you so much for seeing me. But we still have a long ways to go today still and I'll keep you guys updated like usual. It is currently two o'clock. Today is going so good and it's also going by so fast. We have about four hours left and I am really happy with how today's going and I'm just glad that it turned around from yesterday. But that's the only update I have for you now and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, what's up? Brenda's in the bathroom so I decided to come and say hi and steal her camera. So this is gonna be a fun little surprise for her. camera yeah <laughs> it is currently four o'clock and we're only $76 away from hitting my sales goal for today which is absolutely insane today has just been so good we only have two hours left of the craft fair for today but I'll let you guys know of course everything that goes on and if we end up hitting the sales goal, if we don't, it was still an amazing day and we did so good in sales. We have also had 26 sales. It's currently 5.30 and it's like dead, dead. It has been since about five, but because it's been dead, I have been putting off this task for so long. I finally designed a new banner to go where this one is because I wanna like, put out there that my stuff is mental health awareness and positivity and so I decided to make a new banner for that. This is what it looks like, trust me it looks better in person but I just designed it on Canva and then I also designed this one so it can go right there so instead if people don't really want to look through there and follow me or look through all the social medias to find me they can just scan the QR code that's right here and it takes them to every place needed. And this isn't sponsored or anything, but I get mine from bannerbuzz.com. I'll have them in the description. And their banners are very reasonably priced and super good quality. The banner that I have, I got from them. I've had it for a year. I love it. It still is like in perfect condition. It's just, I wanna add some more to the banner, but they always have deals going on. I'll put the discount code that I used down below but I don't know if it's still working, but if you have Honey on your computer, honestly, I love Honey. It always gets you amazing deals and discounts on top of like pretty, pretty low prices. So highly recommend both of those. I'll have them both in the description, but I'm gonna order these and it's only cost me $31, $5 for shipping. That's such a good deal. So make sure you check them out if you are in the market for a new banner or anything. So far today, we've had 28 orders. We are only $18 short of my sales goal, which is totally fine. I'm just really happy that we're even close to it. But I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll talk to you guys later. We're done for the day. Um, I was just shy of reaching my goal of 1K for the day, but I'm just so happy with how the entire day went. It was so much better than yesterday. 
But I'm excited for tomorrow because I feel like a lot of people are waiting for the last day to come. So with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning and happy last day of the craft fair. I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru because I need to get some coffee. I think I'm also gonna get a strawberry refresher because that also sounds good today, but I know I need the caffeine first. I'm really excited about today. It's the last day, like I said, and I'm just really hoping that it goes amazing just like yesterday. Honestly, if the craft fair would have been done after yesterday, I kind of would have been okay with it because I'm really happy with how much I made and just how the day went yesterday that today is just kind of like whatever happens happens and let's just have fun. Like I said, yesterday we made our booth money back and it's just going to be a great day. I just got to the venue. We have like 10 minutes till it opens, but here is the fit for the last day. I'm wearing sweatpants because I didn't feel like wearing jeans today. I This is my first craft fair vlog. I haven't worn my jeans that I always wear, but it's like cold out and we're gonna be tearing down today, so I wanted to be like super comfy. And no one really sees my bottom half, so. Comfort over everything. It is currently two o'clock and so far we've had eight sales and we're getting closer to my sales goal for today. Cassie made a sales goal and it was just too high. I thought it was fine. But I made one for realistically I'm for myself. Big. So go big or go home. But we're almost there and we still have three hours left. And no babies. No babies. Thank God. <laughs> but keep you guys updated like usual. Right now, it is like dead, dead, and it's only 3.30, but I'm watching the wild game, so that's keeping me occupied while I munch on some Cheez-Its as well. But we have officially sold out of the brown, just a little anxious crewnecks, and they have two left of the coral, small and a medium. And then another super popular item has been our pink You Are Meant To Be Here joggers. And these won't be restocking either. And the only size that's left is a large. Last but not least, we also are down to one of the You Are Meant To Be Here crewnecks in a size small. And then I have two of the purple ones left in the You Are Meant To Be Here crewnecks. Both are mediums. Another really popular one that's been selling really good at this market is the And The Stigma crewneck. A lot of people are loving these and I only have about five of them left. Small, medium, large, and extra large. But yeah, that's how it's been going. It has been a bit slow today, but also steady at the same time. I'm not mad with where we're at right now. And so, yeah, that's my update for you guys right now. So far today we've had 13 sales and we're only $12 away from my goal for the day. Cassie's goal, we're, <laughs> we're off by a lot, but my goal, we're almost there. Okay, I lied. Um, I have a, another anxious still in stock in size small. So I have three of the corals left, two small, one medium. Also, right after I filmed the clip of almost meeting our goal, five, like not even five minutes later, um, a girl bought a shirt and we officially reached my sales goal for today and I'm super happy. I just got home and already organized everything in the garage besides the products obviously. So now we're going to put away all of the inventory.
Okay, but can we give a moment for how empty these shelves are now and the t-shirt shelves? Everything is finally put away. I feel like that was the fastest tear down and putting away everything that I've ever done. Like it was so fast, I still can't believe it. But overall, this weekend went so well and I'm really happy that I did it and I'm so excited for more craft vlogs coming your way. I'm so happy that craft fair season is finally in full swing again. I missed making these videos and I'm sure you guys missed viewing them. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.